Three Mile Lyle's biggest fight was in 1979, when he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. I destroyed Joe Frazier, I destroyed George Fulman, I destroyed Spinks, Sonny Liston, Archie Moore, a football player? <laughs> Lyle was a former Golden Gloves boxer, thought all we have to do, get my high stadium, bring in Muhammad Ali, put the tickets on sale, box for eight rounds, put all the money in the bank. Lyle, you are about to fight Muhammad Ali. Are you rocky or are you just crazy? He's probably the greatest heavyweight that ever lived, and if you think I'm going to go in the ring and get embarrassed, I'm not going to have that happen. And I'm not bragging or saying that I'm going to beat him, but I'm going to hold my own. How do the Broncos feel about one of their most valuable properties in the ring with a heavyweight champion? Now, we're not trying to uh, stop him fighting. All we want to do is make sure we're covered by an insurance policy. Financially, he had to back the fight because he couldn't find other people to do it, so he put our house up as collateral. Yes, he did. He mortgaged his house as a backing for the fight. Your house? Come on, man, you, you mean to tell me you do that to get in the ring with Ali? Of course he was crazy. So He's punch. not the great white hope. He's the great white dope. <laughs> They're about to go out and meet the press. But Ali turned to him before they opened the door and he said, you want to make some money on this? I'll show you how you do it. Open the door and Ali went. You think this big, fat, ugly football player is going to kick my ass? This man is going to be well known after this. This is going to be bigger than all his games put together. Japan told him to send a crew in. You will have a worldwide whooping. <laughs> Part of the excitement was that we all knew the one thing that he won't be is scared. What the hell are you coming to me warning me about? The guy's good. He's had 13 amateur fights. He knows something. What the hell are you He won't be frightened to be in the ring with Muhammad Ali. All of the rest of us would have. When the fight comes up on Saturday, I'm giving all the hell you can in. Here we go with round one, ringside at Mile High Stadium in Denver. Lyle Alzado fighting in part to fulfill a lifelong dream and in part for charity. It was an exhibition. We're not gonna hurt each other. We're gonna make some money, put on a really good show. All of us who knew Lyle, there was a clear understanding that if you get into a ring and you start fighting Lyle, that eventually, Lyle's gonna fight. As the fight went on. You see this crowd react with every punch that Alvedo throws. And Lyle was doing well, because Ali was letting him do well. Lyle started to fight. He is now starting to taunt Ali, and the crowd loves it. Now, come on, come on, come on, come on. It was insane. But here is the heavyweight champion of the world, and Lyle's in there trying to fight. Nobody says it's a serious fight. It's an exhibition, but those are serious punches being thrown. Second round, Lyle did fairly well. He was throwing some really hard punches at Ali. He has picked the tempo up considerably here in the early seconds of round two. The cameras were on and the lights were bright. He looked for an opportunity uh, to pop Ali. He was going to knock him out. We can now say that he was the first man to sack Joe Namath and smack Muhammad Ali. <laughs> And then Muhammad Ali zapped him to kind of say, hey, we're just in an exhibition match. How does this football player in his wildest dreams think he can stand in the same ring as I? Ali really peppered him, like around his head. Look at this, Dick. He stung him good. I mean, that head was going back like that. We were close enough where you could see it and feel it. Oh, good overhand right by Ali. Ali was out to show, this is my job. <laughs> this is what I do. There are quarterbacks all over the country who are rooting for Muhammad Ali today. After the fight, he said, I hit him really hard, and then, boom, I really got hit hard back. <laughs> like Rocky Balboa, Alzado had gone the distance with the champ.